Praise the Lord. I greet you all in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Welcome to our Saturday call to prayer. My name is Carolyn. I am here with Annabelle. We are thanking God for this opportunity to serve you. And we pray that God Almighty will bless you as we share his word. Hallelujah. Today is a very beautiful weekend. Do not forget that we shall meet at 12 a.m. East African time to come and pray and seek the Lord. Remember, the apostles in Acts would always pray to God. They would gather in churches and in homes to fellowship. Do not give out chance. Serve the Lord and he shall bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I'd like you to open your Bibles with me to the book of Luke chapter 12 verses 1 verses 4 to 12 Luke chapter 12 verses 4 to 12 the bible says dear friends don't be afraid of those who want to kill your body they can not do anything more to you after that but i tell you whom to fear fear god who has the power to kill you and then throw you into hell Yes, he's the one to fear. What is the price of five sparrows? Two chopper coins, yet God does not forget a single one of them. And the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are more valuable to God than a whole flock of sparrows. I tell you the truth. Everyone who acknowledges me publicly here on earth, the Son of Man will also acknowledge in the presence of God's angels. But anyone who denies me here on earth will be denied before God's angels. Anyone who speaks against the Son of Man can be forgiven, but anyone who blasphemes the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. And when you are brought to trial in the synagogue and before rulers and authorities, don't worry about now, don't worry about how to defend yourself or what to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at the time what needs to be said. That is the word of the Lord. My sisters and brothers, today I would like to speak to you about Luke 12, verse 7 in particular, that says, And the very hairs on your head are all numbered, so don't be afraid. You are more valuable to God than a whole flock of sparrows. Mm. My sister and brother in the Lord listening to me right now, you are valued by God. And so I have the authority to say, you are worthy it. Today I'll be teaching you in that line saying, you and I are valued by God. That means we are worthy. And so I would like to remind you in this call to prayer. That God knows you and the hairs on your head are numbered. Most of us have accepted to fear so much and have forgotten that you are valued by God. Today be reminded that Jesus Christ values you and loves you. Of let most people have found it easy to say, I don't see any reason why I'm leaving. People around me do not like me. They don't value me. It seems I am a bother. Hear me out. You are reminded by the scripture of the Lord. That our true value. Is coming from God. And just so you know. If you ever want to know how worthy you are. It is God who highly esteems you in this world not me not your peers not other people god 
has put you at that level that you cannot be compared to because our true value is God's estimate of our worth. Today I would like to remind you, God cares so very much about you. The same way he does for every living thing and every creature. Why? Because you belong to him. <clears throat> and that is why you must be encouraged to face each day as it comes. Because in the eyes of God, we carry a lot of value. And if you've been reading and hearing the word of the Lord with me, God is encouraging you as he's encouraging me. To be encouraged and run away from hypocrisy. There's a lot of talk in this world. Some people even have the audacity to question if God exists. Some people have even gone ahead to say, I don't like the way God created me. I don't like my hand. I don't like my nose. I wish my body was like this. Do not hate yourself. God values the you. Some people say, I hate myself. When I look at the mirror, I'm not very confident. I wish I was like so and so. I cannot even recognize myself. In my whole family, I'm the one who is a bit different. Let me tell you one thing. From today, choose to recognize the effort, the time that the Lord Jesus Christ put in you. Because you are worthy it. Everything that the Lord has put in this world, you are worthy it. Sometimes people disqualify themselves. And they write of themselves and say, ah, that one I don't think it's for me. That area is maybe for some people. I will opt out my sister and brother in the Lord. God values you so much. And whatever it is that you have, you are worthy. I want to encourage you as I encourage myself. Be motivated to know that God has allowed certain <laughs> things to happen in your life. Because he knows everything in your head. Let me tell you one thing. There is no success that others have that you can't get if you fully belong and rely on the Lord. I'm aware that the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, 19, that we are the temple of God. Today, I would like to humbly remind you that you and I are the temple of God. In everything that you do, do you actually recognize that you're God's temple? Do you acknowledge that you're carrying what God has put in you? Some people choose to feel bad. Whenever you say, I do not like myself, you are simply saying that the temple of God is not good. Praise the Lord. Somebody may say, I have this challenge. I have this problem in my family. I am going through a lot. But I want you to believe with me today. Refuse to be afraid. Don't be overwhelmed. Don't worry too much. The Bible has told us in Luke 12, 17, that the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So refrain from fear because God values you just as he values your brother and sister. Today, I would like you to remind yourself that you're going to create time and give some productive time to your Lord. Give some productive time in prayer. Think of what you've been doing all your years in life. Have you been acknowledging the worth that the Lord has put in you? You know, that's why when I remember that scripture in the Bible that says, don't worry about tomorrow. For today already has enough of its own. He's telling us, do not be afraid. Do not start to think about Sunday. Saturday has a lot in its package. But in this Saturday, I would like you to remember how valuable you are in the eyes of God. Even if Caroline doesn't see your value, God is seeing your value. Today, I want you to be reminded 
that you will put everything aside. Put everything in prayer and supplication. Some people say, I'm worried about my children. I'm worried about fees. I'm worried about what to wear. I'm worried about what to eat. I'm worried about how to present myself in an interview. I'm worried about the challenges that we are having. But first know your value. Most often when you know how valuable you are, you will get the strength and you'll be able to face the mountain with confidence. And today I'd like to tell you this. Do not be scared. God is going to provide for you. God is going to give you that self-worth. Wake up from that slumber. You are worthy. You are valued. God has the whole world in his hands. He's hearing us right now from my lips straight to his ears. He's watching us right now all over the world. He understands and knows best what is good for you. So why do you choose to hate yourself? Why do you choose to undervalue yourself? Why do you choose to behave contrary from God's word? He knows what is best for us. Cast your worries and cares unto the Lord. God is in control. He is ready to intervene. He's ready to remind you that you're valuable to him. And he's the only one that is in charge of the universe. Creator of the universe. What can't you do? What can't you change? Yahweh. Because you were able. Able mighty God. You are able, Jesus, for there is nothing, nothing you cannot do, nothing you cannot change, nothing that you can't turn around. You are able, able mighty God, I lift myself to you. Because you're able, Yahweh. In the same mood as you hear me right now, I want you to leave everything in the hands of the Lord. Invite him to help you. And say, just as you've numbered the hairs on my head, I believe I am worth it. I believe I am blessed. I believe I am lifted. I believe that the world is waiting for me to manifest in the name of Jesus. I want to believe right now that as you've been listening to me, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 7, verses 2 to 3, that God my teachings as your most precious possession. Today I pray that you listen to the teaching of the Lord and you will tie them on your fingers as a reminder. You will write them deep down in your heart. I pray that right now if you're listening to me, Every time you're discouraged, the Bible is reminding you to guard his teachings in his precious, in your precious possession. I want you to know that King Solomon was the wisest man to ever live. But what did he do? He obeyed God's commandments. He said, guard my teachings. Hallelujah. Today I want to remind you it is important. Every time you hear the word of God, write it down. God is going to lift you. God is going to change your story. You are worthy it. Value yourself from today. Remember that God is doing it for you. Pray every day. Build your relationship with God. Talk to your children and family about God. Pray when they are existing in the place. Get more involved in the things of the Lord. Hallelujah. Serve the Lord. Find something to do. Because God is someone that has chosen to value you. He esteems you today. I want you to learn and acknowledge that Jesus values you. You are the best. The fact that he knows the number of hair on your head. He believes and knows that you are valuable. I want you to open your mouth and pray with me. Jesus. 
Mando tari malando teboi marita lagaba seke broko tana masizo minta leri kabra kala debo saka torege liantari lakaso kubra nitandaro li zeke to kubra katu laba sunda gitai inda roto laki sokondo rege motida ye li suza katondi rakai laki toroko siza kandota hira lo saka torege broko saya I want you to declare that you're worthy of God's blessing. You're worthy in his life in this world. If others disqualify you, God has high hope and confidence in you. Open your mouth and pray to the Lord. My Torah labi so tande getoi Lisa cabro co taliga roco talege si zagaya Intalato roco bragate nemo saliga tende gesia Marota nakatori masonda gatori masekia Hitalisi rakato cobra gito lo si zakanda gadai Herutanda gatai roco la casi zegeto In de tura cabranato la si zoco branicatoye Hezika rekela diva sende getori kaya in Talisi Cabrogota Legacy Zakatore. I want you to pick up courage this morning that Jesus loves you. He says in Psalm 31 24 that we should be strong and courageous. We should put our hope in the Lord. In a state where you've been feeling undervalued, underestimated, be strong and be courageous, as it is written in Psalm 31 24. I want you to prophesy to yourself that I am blessed, I am lifted, I am anointed, I am the chosen one of God. Now Nothing will bring me down in the mighty name of Jesus. He says in Ephesians chapter 3 verses 12 that in him we have boldness and access with confidence by faith of him. Today I want you to wake up and pick boldness this Saturday and declare and decree that from today I am not going to hate myself. I'm not going to underestimate myself. I am carrying the greatest thing that the Lord needs. I am the blessing. I'm the light of this world. I am the Lord that is going to, I'm the light that is going to shine. If there are problems in my family, I thank God because he has positioned me in that family to be a blessing. I am the cast breaker. I am the story changer. I am the one that God is going to use to fulfill the destiny. You can prophesy to yourself with courage. You can wake up today in the name of Jesus because today the wicked are going to be paralyzed. Do not accept the bandwagon of underestimating yourself, of disqualifying yourself. The Bible says in Proverbs 28 verses 1, that the wicked are fleeing when nobody is pursuing them, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Today I want you to be bold like a lion and decree and declare that the wicked have no powers over your family. The wicked have no powers over your education, your ministry, your business, whatever it is you're doing. You are bold like a lion and a lioness. And I want you to prophesy and decree to yourself that the you that they are looking at is the best gift of the Lord. They should not underestimate the power of the Lord in you. It's only a season of time. It's only season of an hour it's only season of a tweak of an eye what god can do in thousand years he can alter it in one second i want you to decree and declare right now that i am lifted i am blessed i am valued i am highly esteemed i am honored if others have chosen to underwrite you god is positioning you in a place where people cannot decrease you i want you to declare this saturday that i am positioned in this month of release i am expecting a blessing super naturally from God. I am getting lifted. I'm getting a place where I'm going to a place where people will not understand what my people are, could not be able to receive. I am going to be the one to receive and through the blessing that the Lord will put in me, I shall be a blessing. I want to speak to your blessing this evening and say God Almighty is going to bless you. I believe that God is going to lift your courage. I believe that God is going to raise you right now. And I pray that you and I will accept our characters to be aligned to the presence of the Lord. I want you to say this evening that I am courageous. I'm courageous. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm lifted. I'm lifted. I am a child of God. I'm a child of God. I am highly valued. I'm highly valued. In the name of Jesus. 
God bless you so much. Let me pray for you, Father, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the sisters and brothers connected. I pray that from today they will develop a sense of value. They will understand that you have put them in a position and they are the best gift that you have given unto this world. I want to decree and declare that from today you shall see the hand of the Lord and you will stop underestimating yourself because there is power in picking that courage and accepting the lordship of the lord in your life in the mighty name of jesus do not miss 12 a.m east african time come let's decree and declare tonight in the presence of the lord in jesus name we pray amen i like annabelle to close with the grace and uh, the psalm may the grace may the grace of my lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the whole be with us all night forever amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days, days of, of our lives and shall do well it. in the house of the lord forever and ever amen amen happy saturday see you at 12 a.m east african time and god bless you